assalamu alaikum welcome to vetlec today i am going to discuss the anatomy of carpal bones and metacarpal bones of dog so in case of dog uh, the carpal bones metacarpal bones and digits of dog are collectively termed as manus of dog so these three uh, parts uh, that is one is carpus then metacarpus and uh, then digits these three parts uh, of the uh, distal aspect of fore limb collectively form the manus of dog first i'll discuss the carpus of dog so in case of dog uh, all carpal bones which are actually a uh, short bones and these are seven in number so these seven short bones collectively form the carpus in case of dog so uh, these seven short bones which are called carpal bones uh, articulate between themselves and also they articulate proximally proximally with the radius and ulna and distally with the metacarpal bones so these seven short bones which are carpal bones articulating between themselves and with the radius ulna and metacarpal bones collectively form the carpus of dog so uh, in case of dog the carpal uh, carpal bones uh, which collectively form the carpus these bones are arranged in two rows one is the proximal row and second one is the distal row and if we uh, number these uh, want if we want to uh, number these uh, carpal bones then we start the numbering from medial aspect to the lateral aspect so uh, there are two rows of carpal bones one is the proximal row and other is the distal row in case of proximal row there are total three carpal bones one is the radial carpal which is at the medial aspect of uh, medial aspect of fore limb so medially uh, radial carpal is present then laterally the, uh, there is ulnar carpal at the lateral aspect and palmar to this ulnar carpal or caudal to this ulnar car carpal there is third carpal which is known as accessory carpal so these three carpals that is one is the radial carpal other one is the ulnar carpal and third is the accessory carpal these three carpal bones comprise the proximal row in case of uh, carpal bones of dog then uh, uh, comes the distal row of carpal bones so in distal row uh, at the medial most aspect of the uh, fore limb uh, first carpal bone is present then second carpal bone is present as we move uh, laterally progressively uh, as we progressively move uh, towards the lateral aspect from medial to lateral aspect then first comes the uh, first carpal then second carpal then third and at the lateral most aspect fourth carpal is present so total uh, in the proximal row there are three carpal bones while in the distal row there are total four carpal bones uh, so total uh, there are seven carpal bones in case of dog the radial carpal which is present at the medial aspect of fore limb is the largest carpal bone of dog it is actually formed due to the fusion of radial carpal bone with intermediate carpal bone and therefore we can also call it intermedio radial carpal bone but generally we call it radial carpal bone and it is the largest carpal bone of dog's fore limb so as its name indicates that it is radial carpal so proximally it articulates with the radius radius bone and distally it articulates with uh, car first carpal second carpal third carpal and also with fourth carpal while laterally uh, laterally it uh, articulates with ulnar carpal and medially it has no articulation as it is present at the medial most aspect of fore limb so Uh, lateral laterally it is articulating with ulnar carpal and medially it has no articulation then next is the ulnar carpal bone uh, which is present at the lateral aspect of uh, fore limb here we have ulnar carpal so if we talk about its articulations uh, then medially it articulates uh, with radial carpal as you can see here medially it is it, it is articulating with the uh, radial carpal bone laterally it has no articulation as it is as it is present at the lateral most, most aspect of uh, fore, fore limb proximally it articulates uh, with both radius and ulna bone as its name indicates that it is ulnar carpal so it articulates with ulna uh, but along with ulna it also articulates with the radius bone 
then caudally it articulates with the accessory carpal bone also as i have told you that uh, at the caudal aspect of ulnar carpal uh, accessory carpal is present and it is not clear in this picture uh, so otherwise uh, accessory carpal bone is present just caudal to this ulnar carpal bone and as it is present just caudal to the ulnar carpal bone so it articulates with uh, accessory carpal this ulnar carpal articulates with the accessory carpal bone caudally while distally it articulates with the fourth carpal bone and fifth metacarpal bone as you can see in the picture so medially it articulates with the radial carpal bone proximally with both radius and ulna distally with fourth carpal and fifth metacarpal while caudally with accessory carpal bone now if we talk about the accessory carpal bone then as uh, as you know that it is present at the caudal aspect or palmar aspect of the ulnar carpal bone so it art articulates Uh, with the ulnar carpal bone and it also articulates with the styloid process of ulna bone accessory carpal also articulates with the styloid process of ulna ulna bone the carpal bones in the distal row are named according to their corresponding position in the distal row from medial aspect to the lateral aspect so Uh, if we move from medial aspect of the four limb towards the lateral aspect then first comes the first metacarpal then second metacarpal then third metacarpal and then fourth metacarpal uh, fourth carpal sorry first carpal second carpal third carpal and fourth carpal first carpal is the smallest carpal of the uh, distal row of carpal bones and as we move laterally from middle aspect to the lateral aspect then progressively their size increases Uh, it means that first carpal is the smallest then second carpal is uh, larger than first one then third is larger than second and so on now if we talk about the articulations of these uh, uh, carpal bones carpal bones of the distal row then proximally uh, the first carpal bone articulates with the radi uh, with the radial carpal while distally it articulates with the first metacarpal similarly second uh, carpal bone articulates proximally with the radial carpal while distally it articulates with the second metacarpal then third carpal bone uh, articulates proximally it prox proximally articulates with the radial carpal while distally it articulates with the third metacarpal then fourth carpal uh, bone articulates proximally with both radial carpal and ulnar carpal while distally it articulates only with the fourth metacarpal bone sorry distally it articulates with both fourth and fifth metacarpal bone so uh, first carpal second carpal and third carpal uh, articulate proximally with the radial carpal while fourth car carpal bone articulates proximally with both radial and ulnar carpal bone while distally fourth uh, carpal bone articulates with both fourth and fifth metacarpal bone on the other hand first second and third carpal bones articulate with first second and third metacarpal bones now let's talk about the types of articulations which are present in the carpus first type of uh, joint which i'm going to discuss is the radiocarpal joint as its name indicates that it is a joint between the radius bone radius ulna bone and carp and carpal bones so it is termed as radiocarpal joint so this type of joint is formed between the proximal row of carpal bones and distal extremities of radius and ulna bones so between the uh, distal extremities of the radius and ulna bones and proximal ends of proximal row of carpal bones radiocarpal joint is present and this joint is also known as antibrachiocarpal joint now uh, between the proximal row of a uh, proximal row of carpal bones and between the distal row of carpal bones another joint is present which is known as middle carpal joint while the intercarpal joint is the joint which is present between these carpal bones individual carpal bones so uh, the type of joint which is present between the in each individual carpal bone is intercarpal joint while the joint which is present between the proximal row of carpal bones and distal row of carpal bones is known as middle carpal joint while the fourth type of joint which is present in the carpal bones is the carpo metacarpal joint or metacarpo phalangeal joint as its name indicates that carpo metacarpal joint that it is the joint between the carpal bones and metacarpal bones so 
uh, this type of bone is uh, joint, joint is present between the carpal bones and proximal end of uh, metacarpal bones and this proximal end is the uh, actually the head of uh, actually the base sorry base of uh, metacarpal bones so this uh, joint is present between the base of metacarpal bones and distal row of carpal bones now let's discuss the metacarpus which is actually the region of four limb between the carpal bones and the digits so this region is termed as metacarpus and it also contains five bones which are named according to their corresponding position from medial to lateral aspect of four limb so first metacarpal which is present at the medial aspect of four limb is called first metacarpal then second metacarpal third metacarpal then fourth metacarpal and fifth metacarpal is at the lateral aspect of four limb each metacarpal bone is associated with at least one sesamoid bone as you can see in the picture and uh, first metacarpal is the smallest metacarpal and it is also a non weight bearing bone it is also a non weight bearing bearing metacarpal bone so this first metacarpal is the shortest uh, smallest metacarpal and non weight bearing metacarpal uh, of dog and it it is the part of dew claw of dog while third and fourth metacarpal are the longest metacarpals of dog each metacarpal contains three parts one is its base other part is its uh, head and third part is its body long body which is present between its head head and uh, its base so base is present proximally while head is present distally and between these two uh, parts body of metacarpal bone is present if we talk about the base of metacarpal bone then the base of metacarpal bone contains carpal articular surface this uh, deep surface uh, is the carpal articular surface and as its name indicates it uh, it helps in articulation with the carpal bones so proximal end of each metacarpal contains base uh, is actually a base of metacarpal and this base contains carpal articular surface then just distal to the base of metacarpal bone there is a metacarpal tuberosity this is the metacarpal tuberosity so we have uh, metacarpal tuberosity just distal to the head of uh, distal to the sorry base of metacarpal then if we uh, look at the distal extremity uh, of metacarpal bone then uh, first structure is the head of metacarpal bone and uh, this is the head of metacarpal bone and uh, there is also a, a sagittal ridge at the distal aspect of metacarpal bone and two condyles are also present at the distal aspect of metacarpal bone so this one is the palmar surface or caudal surface of metacarpal bone so at this uh, surface at the distal aspect uh, there is a sagittal ridge and two condyles while at the cranial aspect or plantar aspect there is a head at the distal extremity or distal aspect of metacarpal bone so this was all about the uh, carpus and metacarpus of dog thank you